wake up bright and early, excited to work on your van, do your van build, and then you see it's raining. It's a horrible rainy day. <laughs> How am I supposed to build a van in the rain? Boy, oh boy, do I have a solution for you. Solution? Try this on for size. This is a uh, patio umbrella repurposed hanging over the back doors. Bye bye, pesky rain. You're not gonna bother us today. No, sir. Gotcha. Next project is adding some Christmas lights to the camper van. That's 66 feet. Gonna re uh, coil that um, on the ceiling. We're upgrading, boys. New LED technology. Just getting it in place here. Here's the work in progress from the back side. This is a warm white LED. You can see it's a copper wire. And what I'm doing is using the existing, uh, these, I call them armor piercing screws, but what they are is um, self tapping screws. And I've already got those, uh, use those up top here. I already had them in place to stick up the upholstery. Um, what I did is just unscrewed them a little bit, and that way I could wrap the wire around it and make it nice and taut. I think it looks pretty good. You guys tell me, what do you think? It also, also comes with a controller here, and it's got a few weird settings to it. Like, if I wanted to, I could pulse it, which I don't think I'll ever do, and all these, like, party modes. It's one color. Pretty much, I think I'm just going to keep it on 100%, which this is. Uh, I gotta figure out how to clear this. It's doing some weird thing. Okay, so there we go. That's gonna be the brightness, and I'm just gonna double, triple, quadruple it up so that it provides enough light. It's 66 feet, and um, it was only $15. And I'm gonna cut off the adapter on the end, wire it right to my 12 volt system with uh, a fuse in line. Here are the type of screws that I'm using zinc. 3 inch or 3 fourths inch. Anyway, self tapping, that's the secret. Just make sure you don't drill through the skin of your van. Also, these work pretty well. These are automotive upholstery uh, screws. They're not really screws. Well, here's what they look like just clear, and you can find them at Walmart. And you can see it's kind of like a corkscrew. And that, I'm, I've got pink foam board for insulation, so once you push it in and you can just screw it and it gets tight. And then, of course, I'm just wrapping this wire around it. It's real nice, Lack. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So this is what it currently looks like. And let me show you what it looks like when I'm done. Snap of the fingers. And that's what it looks like when it's completed. Wow there, Bayward. That sure is nice, like. <laughs> but I think, as a, as a group, there are some people who they may not... <laughs> well, well, that, that there sure is a pretty shell. Them, them contours is like a pretty female. I got the wrong screw tip on. Oh, that doesn't make you look good. This is nuts. Look at this man. This monstrosity. This is aw so sweet. Look at this. There's he just put these rails here. Keep things in place <clears throat> on all levels. <laughs> Here too. There we go. Just put a skin on the corners there. All the faster is doing is holding holding it tight while the glue sets it in, you know. Uh huh. So really, just glue and a lot of clamps. It's just a strip. Good morning, Conrads. Hey, I woke up and decided I'd go check out a fabric store. And I uh, googled it, and 
Turns out there's like one, like not even far. And here it is. Let's go see if they've got some custom fit foam that it can make it so uh, I'm not uh, sleeping on a bed of nails like Chinese torture. Just went in there, priced it out. Holy moly macaroni. That's expensive uh, for the size that I need, which is 48 by 68. It's custom size bed bedding. And the stuff that he recommended that'll last a long time, $350. Uh, plus uh, $70 to put some fabric and a zipper around it. Damn, that is pricey. Uh, what's more is they didn't have it in stock. They did have some cheaper stuff. It wasn't in stock either because it's the holidays and I guess people are redoing their upholstery and I got a, oops, got a little raindrop on you. Um, so they were out of stock of pretty much everything. But he said if I come back Tuesday, they'll have it in stock. And um, I will be passing through here um, on the way back, so I don't know. We'll look into it. How important is it to me? $350? Pretty damn steep. I think I could buy a whole bed, cut it to, you know, cut it to shape, and it would be just fine. So, and it would only be $250 or even cheaper. So, something to think about. A bright, 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 sunshiny day. That was the song that was playing in the. Uh, the subway. Not accurate. I, mean, I don't think I would do that again because that was like a half a day. So I had those white bins in the van. You can find them at pretty much any department store. They've got like three drawers in them. But we put this shelf in the back and it no longer fits. It's uh, too tall by about, you know, three or four inches. I was just going to throw them away. I don't really need them. But I thought, hmm, maybe I can cut them. So. I've got my buddy here, my brother. Uh, he's got a table saw, and we're cutting them. I recommend that if you're a van dweller, shop around, find a friend that has a table saw, and use him to make precision cuts like this. They, these friends come in really handy, so just shop around. Make sure you find one that doesn't complain too much and uh, helps you for very cheap. Uh, like this one, I've got one here. Um, I got this one pretty cheap, and he's pretty reliable. There you go guys. Reduce, reuse, recycle. This is the reuse part. Now I can use these bins. And I don't have to throw them away. Trash or recycle? Am I a bad person? I'm a good person. Okay. I feel really good about myself right now. I'm really making a difference, guys. I feel really good about myself right now. I'm saving the planet. I did the right thing. You know what? I guess it just comes naturally, guys. I just try to be a good human being. Recycle. Save the planet. Oh my god, it's the DPA scam speakers. I fell for this scam at one point. this it's a Star Wars themed steering wheel I had just purchased one for $12.99 this one's $7.99 I could have saved a bundle on my Star Wars steering wheel you guys an idea for those of you who are not familiar with uh, Washington and the states that legalize marijuana this is in Tacoma Washington and this is a typical storefront um, they all use different graphics on the front but they have to black it out and then there's a ton of cameras and everything you just show your ID and then you go up to the bud, bud tender and uh, they sell you marijuana for pretty good prices compared to what I'm used to, medical marijuana and the huge amount of taxes that they're adding to cannabis in uh, California. It's insane. They're just completely profiting off of it. I think it's a good move for society as a whole. And I gotta say, the quality is up there as well. Um, the price that you pay for the amount of THC and just the quality and the packaging there's tamper-proof seals. Um, it almost it looks just like what you would expect with uh, the alcohol industry, how they add all their labels and you know fancy marketing and all that stuff. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Look at that fat beast about to land. Huge. I don't know what it is. C C-130? I don't know. A lot of planes out here. They are landing, taking off from the McCord Air Force Base or a joint uh, Lewis base. What? 
Kathy, you said, coincidence here, you had shut down your computer, right? Oh, man, yeah. And what happened? And then you walked in. I walked in. I came to put my computer back on so I could listen to the talks, and Paul Stamets came on. Another coincidence! Mm-hmm. Right when I entered the room, right? right? That is freaky deaky. <laughs> Those are the coincidences that happened to me. I'm I'm the I'm Neo from the Matrix. I'm the anomaly. Yeah. So I've got these 12 volt LED lights, and they came with this transformer, and I've been running them on my inverter just fine. As soon as I um, cut off that converter right there and wire it directly into 12 volt, only half of the lights turn on. Let's see what that looks like. So when I cut the plug off and I hardwire it into the 12 volt. Half of the lights don't turn on. All of these lights right up until that, that one right there. The happy part about it is that uh, the middle stays on. It's just the peripheral because that's just the way I wrapped it. I wrapped it around here first, around the peripheral, and then I zigzagged. So the first half of the string is not turning on. Also, the IR sensor for the remote is not working either. So it's like it's almost like it's not getting enough amps. I don't know. But I plugged them back into 110 and they all work just fine. It's only when I plug them into 12 volt that half the lights turn off. What is going on? What is going on there? Does anybody know? Guys, if you'd like my work, consider supporting me on Patreon where you'll also find hours of additional entertaining content. Become a level 6 supporter. If not, try being a level 1 through 5 supporter. I've got a little game in the description. Check it out. Play along. Once again, guys, appreciate you. You've got a friend in Bayward.